Hello again, and welcome to the second part in this three-part series of videos. In the first part, we described how to do acoustical measurements, and in this part, we're going to look at the results and decide what to do about it. So here's the measurement of the left speaker in our system. Uh, the loudspeaker was placed about one and a half meters from the, the left wall and about one and a half meters from the front wall. And the first thing to note when looking at a loudspeaker measurement is do we get the bass extension that we expect to see? In the case of an A7, we should see a bass extension down to around about 40 hertz. And in this case, the response is rolling off at about 80 hertz. So we're missing almost an entire octave of bass here. So to try and recover some of this bass extension, we're going to move the loudspeakers, the desk and the listening position closer to the front wall. This will give us some more bass extension. So here's our second measurement with the loudspeakers closer to the wall and you see that some of the bass is recovered. The loudspeaker itself has not changed. All we've changed is the loudspeaker position in the room. So now we see with the loudspeakers moved closer to the wall that we've recovered some bass energy, but it's still not ideal. So the next thing to do is to add some acoustical treatment. And again, we see the bass has increased around the 60 hertz region. And then finally, we've moved the loudspeakers a second time to recover even more bass energy. And again, the loudspeakers themselves have not changed. All we've changed is the loudspeaker position and added some acoustical treatment to the room. So still concentrating on the bass, we see a bit of a dip um, around 75 hertz. This is caused by the sidewall reflection. So ideally we would put more acoustic damping material there to damp the sidewall reflections, and then we would see more bass recovery. But for now, we're going to continue with what we have. Moving up the frequency response, we see that there's a bit of a bump between 100 and 300 hertz, and that's caused by the desktop loading the loudspeakers. So we see a general lift in the response there. Then we see a bit of a dip, and that's again caused by the desktop, and that's the desktop reflection. And then it flattens out a little bit with another further dip just below three kilohertz, and that's again the desktop reflection. Of course, ideally, we could get rid of all of this by taking the desk away, but then you would have no mixing desk in the room, and then it wouldn't be a recording studio anymore. So with this result, we're in a position to start calibrating the loudspeakers. And for that, we will use A-Control, and that is the subject of the third video in this series.